In this episode of your daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to pick up the key elements of storytelling. By the end of this video, you'll have the five fundamentals that will help you create memorable stories that impact lives. One of the biggest challenges I'm seeing with stories today is that they're more narrative. Some of them feel like stream of consciousness. There's no format to them. And because of that, people aren't taking action. They're not buying products. They're not following movements. They're not involved. It's, it's entertaining, but then nobody does anything with it. I wanted to shoot this quick video to remind you of the five key elements of a memorable story that will inspire people to change the way they think, feel, or act. Keys one and two are to have a relatable character, who we will call the hero, in relatable circumstances. An example that I would use where that doesn't work is the world-class athlete who talks about how he climbed to the top of Mount Everest. Most people in the audience, the vast majority, are not world-class athletes, and most of us will never climb to the top of Everest. We already have a disconnect. It's an entertaining story, but can I do anything with it? On the other hand, the person who talks about sitting in her boss's office, nervous, intimidated, and about to receive a quarterly review, that is relatable. We've all been in that situation. Make sure that your hero, the person who is going to go through this experience, is relatable to the people in the audience, and that the circumstances are also something people can understand and have been through. Key number three, conflict. Remember, without conflict, there's no story. No memorable narrative anyway. We want to see the hero go through challenges. For example, if I was telling a story of someone walking up the block to the store to pick up a soft drink and they walk back home, not very exciting, is it? If, however, that person was walking to the store and witnessed a robbery or maybe an injured dog and wanted to help, there's some conflict, something unexpected happened. So make sure that there's conflict and it has to escalate. It has to escalate to the point of key number four, which is the climax or the resolution of the story. The audience at this point needs to see a change of perspective in the hero. This is what's going to lead to a whole new life, which we'll talk about in the next key. But we need to see that moment where that individual's perspective changes, the life that, that they're experiencing is completely different. For example, the person sitting in her boss's office. What if instead of receiving a scathing review, she got glowing remarks because she had decided after her last review to become more involved in the teams and communicate better? And the lesson that she learned was, communicate better. That's the change. Which leads us to key number five, which is showing us the, the new life, the change in this person's life. The woman sitting in her boss's office will walk out with a different perspective, knowing that because she was willing to adjust her communication style to be more involved with the team, she's more product, productive at work, she is seen better by her peers and definitely by management, she's living a new life. If you want to craft meaningful and memorable stories that change the way people think, feel, or act, it's imperative that you use these five steps. Share with us the story of a relatable hero, a character who has flaws, who's in pursuit of a goal in relatable circumstances. Show the conflict and increase that conflict until the point of climax, which is the resolution of the story, and then show us the new life, the way this person has changed for the better. That last part is critical because that's the new life your audience will also want. And if they can see that you help someone do that, they're much more likely to buy your product, service, or idea. Hope this helps. Let me know below the video how you have used stories uh, for good and where you've struggled and, and lessons you've learned from that to make an impact on others. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.